The kidney keeps being the core of our analysis, but today our focus is going to be the glomerulus. Philip, a five-year-old boy, presents with a three-day history of rash that has spread from his legs to his buttocks. He is afebrile and has no sick contacts or other pertinent exposures. The rash consists of non-clustering, non-blanching, raised spots bigger than 2 mm in size spread over his buttocks and his posterior surfaces and his lower extremities. The boy also complains of knee and ankle stiffness and acute abdominal pain. His vital signs are stable and urinalysis reveals microscopic hematuria and mild proteinuria. Laboratory values hematocrit of 35%, white blood count of 7000, Platelet count of 200,000, international normalized ratio INR, protrombin thrombin time of 12 seconds, partial thromboplastin time of 25 seconds. What is the most likely diagnosis? What is the most likely diagnosis? In children, the classic tetrad of palpable purpura with lower limb predominance, arthralgias, abdominal pain, and renal disease is pathognomonic for anoxonline purpura, HSP. However, only 63% of patients with HSP actually present with abdominal pain, and only 40% with renal disease. An additional 33% of patients also have evidence of gastrointestinal bleeding. Less common symptoms include testicular torsion, intussusception, and protein losing enteropathy. Approximately 1% of children with HSP progress to end-stage renal disease, and approximately 10% of HSP cases are seen in adults. What are the dermatologic findings for this condition? Both purpura and petechia may be seen in HSP. Purpura is characterized by non-blanching, flat lesions measuring more than 2 mm in diameter. Petechia are non-blanching, flat lesions measuring less than 2 mm in diameter. Both are signs of bleeding occurring in the skin. In contrast, a blanching rash results from dilation of blood vessels rather than vascular destruction. And applying pressure to the lesion reduces blood flow to the skin, causing it to lose its red color. What is the pathophysiology of this condition? HSP is a small vessel vasculitis. Although the precipitating factor is unknown, anecdotal evidence suggests upper respiratory infection. With HSP, IgA deposition in blood vessels causes leaking, which leads to purpura and petechiae. This is pathophysiologically similar to IgA nephropathy, and they have identical renal histologic findings. However, patients with IgA nephropathy lack the extra renal clinical findings seen in HSP. Which conditions should be considered in the differential diagnosis of this patient's rash? The main concerns, in addition to HSP, are clotting disorders and sepsis. As a result, coagulation studies should be performed. A similar rash can be caused by rickettsial infections. It is important to distinguish HSP from hemolytic uremic syndrome HUS as the two conditions present similarly and can both cause extensive renal disease. However, HUS is not likely in this patient as there are no signs of hemolytic anemia. In adults, HSP must be distinguished from systemic disease, such as hypersensitivity, vasculitis and systemic lupus erythematosus. What are the treatments for this condition? 
Treatment is based on severity of symptoms, as the disease is typically self-limiting. An asymptomatic patient requires no treatment. However, severe symptoms, including signs of renal involvement, may require renal biopsy and steroids. Regardless of severity of symptoms, all patients with HSP require blood pressure measuring and the urinalysis bi-weekly for one or two months. Recurrence of flares typically occurs within four months of the initial diagnosis. This is it, this is our destiny. Again, thank you so much. If you like it, please subscribe. See you next time. Bye.